The Paris Marathon last year saw Kenyans sweep all the medals in the men's category and two out of three in the female competition. But while the world was focused on the event, unknown to most of them was the amount of carbon emitted in the atmosphere to get those runners to Paris. This is not lost on Schneider, the official sponsors of the marathon. And to offset the carbon emissions, they've chosen Kenya, home of marathon champions, as a beneficiary. Marathon Paris, it's an amazing event where in the center of the city you have more than uh, 50,000 people, uh, 20,000 uh, are runners in, uh, in Paris and very often the Kenyans are the winners. This year the Paris Marathon is expected to contribute about 26,000 tons of carbon from air travel alone. The impact of that will be felt by 65% of the African population through climate change. Never mind that the continent is only responsible for about 4% of global greenhouse emissions. Schneider, through the Livelihood Carbon Fund, has been offsetting these emissions since 2011 with projects such as Hifadi, Swahili for Preserve, in Kenya's Embu County. Here in Embu County in Kavoteri village, 60,000 households like the one I'm standing in have benefited from the Hifadi Livelihood Project. Now, the project is a two-part program where women are given fuel economic cooking stoves as well as tree seedlings to plant. Participants can then proudly wear the Green Runners tag through the event because the environment is not only being restored, but lives in more than 120,000 households spread across the county benefit. They no longer have to use the traditional three-stone fireplace, for example. Also, Kenya's forests are being restored. The United Nations estimates that Kenya loses 50,000 hectares of forest per year. Now, with forest cover under 3%, it is one of the least green countries in sub-Saharan Africa today. Without such initiatives, each household consumes an average of 13 kilograms of wood per day, with local women spending long hours collecting firewood. In the past, when using the three-stone fireplace, we would inhale a lot of smoke, leaving us vulnerable to respiratory infections. So I stopped using the old three-stone fireplace once I realized how good this one is. The program that we are involved in has achieved the maximum uh, claimable carbon credit, which is 86%. The technical term is called an FNRB. Now, our stove um, can claim a lot more carbon than what we are able to claim right now, but because the Kenya government has not signed up to the new the FNRB that allows an over 90 percent claim, uh, we have been advising specific individuals within government to pursue the registration of a higher level FNRB. The beneficiaries are given one foot tree seedling, one hardwood seedling, and one softwood seedling. They plant the trees and replace what they cut down while using up to 58 percent less wood with the new stoves. The stoves are also built in Meru contributing to the local area's economy. Alexandria Majala, Embu, Kenya.